Hi, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar. And today we'll be modeling this uh, hammer drop animation in SOLIDWORKS, as you can see. And uh, first of all, uh, we'll design all these parts in SOLIDWORKS and then we'll assemble it in SOLIDWORKS assembly mode. And lastly, uh, we'll export this uh, animation to Keyshot uh, for rendering. So let's uh, stop it here and uh, let's go to a new and uh, select part and select OK. Uh, so first of all, uh, we'll model the pulley and uh, let's go to here front plane sketch and let's make uh, one circle here and uh, I'm using uh, uh, MMGS units. Uh, let's go to a smart dimension and let's make uh, it 130 millimeters. I have already calculated all these. Let's go to your features, uh, boss extrude and I will extrude uh, from mid plane and extrusion would be let's say uh, 10 mm and select OK. Uh, let's select uh, this face, uh, go to sketch normal to view and uh, let's make uh, one center line here and uh, let's make one center line here and the angle between these lines would be 45 degree. Uh, sorry, let's change it to angle. Let's go to your smart dimension again, select this one, select this one and uh, let's make this angle 45. Okay. And uh, let's make one circle here. And uh, the dimension of the circle uh, would be, let's say 19 millimeters. And uh, the dimension from, let's say, this point to this point is 35. And now you can see that uh, it is fully defined. Okay. Uh, so let's go to your features extruded boss and I will extrude it to 25 millimeters and select OK. So uh, extrusion is done and now we'll uh, model one extrusion on the back side of this pulley as well. So let's go to your sketch, select this face. Uh, I will select circle again. I will make uh, one circle here and uh, the diameter is 29 and the extrusion would be 25 millimeters. Okay. Uh, now uh, we will uh, design a slot here and uh, maybe a, a elliptical slot. So let's go to a sketch. I will select this face and uh, let's go to here uh, ellipse and I will make uh, one ellipse uh, here. Okay. Let's drag it here. Uh, I will select this point, hold control. I will select this point and make it vertical. Okay. And uh, the dimension of this uh, ellipse would be, let's say this uh, major axis uh, is 30 millimeters and this minor one is uh, 18. Okay. Uh, you can see, uh, I can still drag this ellipse uh, in this direction. So I have to make one uh, constraint. Uh, let's go to your smart dimension and uh, I will constrain it from the center point to this. Uh, it would be let's say 43 millimeters. Okay. Uh, now you can see that uh, it is still uh, underdefined. So let's select this one, select this one and make horizontal. Now you can see that this uh, slot is fully defined. This elliptical slot is fully defined. And uh, let's go to your features, uh, cut extrude and I will uh, uh, cut extrude it through all. So I will select through all and select OK. Now you can see that uh, elliptical slot is done. Uh, so we need uh, five patterns of this uh, elliptical slot. Uh, let's go to here and I will select uh, this pattern, circular pattern. For the direction, I will choose uh, this circle and uh, for the features, I will select, uh, sorry, uh, I have to select this slot. So I will select this slot and we need five number of patterns. So select OK. And uh, lastly, uh, let's say uh, we need uh, one uh, very small uh, cut extrusion here having a, a diameter 10. So let's go to your features. Uh, sorry, first I will define the diameter. So the diameter is 10 and let's go to your features extruded cut and I will cut extrude only 10 and select OK. Uh, lastly, uh, we will apply some uh, chamfer. 
let's go to a chamfer and uh, we need a chamfer of 2 mm 45 degree select this one uh, let's say I will clear the selection I will select this edge and uh, on the back side this edge and select ok so uh, uh, pulley feature is done and uh, let's save this let's go to your save and I will save it as pulley and select ok uh, so I'll go to a new again and this time I will be making a base part for this uh, hammer drop animation uh, let's go to your front plane select a sketch and uh, let's go to your center rectangle and I will make one center rectangle here okay uh, the dimensions would be uh, let's say 200 millimeters this vertical one and uh, 350 millimeters this horizontal Uh, now I will go to here feature uh, you can see that it's the this sketch is fully defined I cannot drag this sketch you can see here as well the sketch is fully defined let's go to your features extruded boss and I will extrude uh, this to 10 mm okay uh, let's select this face I'll go to your sketch again and uh, let's make uh, one uh, rectangle again this time corner rectangle and I will make one corner rectangle here to here okay and this dimension is uh, let's say 10 mm and now you can see that this uh, rectangle is fully defined uh, let's go to your features extruded boss and I will extrude it to 100 mm and select ok uh, now we need one cut extrusion here and one boss extrusion here so let's go to your sketch select this face uh, view normal and I will make one circle here and uh, the dimensions would be let's say 77 millimeters in this horizontal side and uh, the dimension from uh, let's say this edge to this center point of the uh, circle is uh, uh, 80 millimeters uh, now you can see that this sketch is still uh, underdefined so let's go to your smart dimension again and this time the diameter of this uh, circle uh, it would be let's say 30 mm and check ok uh, let's go to your features uh, cut extrude and I will cut extrude through all and select ok uh, now we will make one uh, a boss extrusion here let's go to your sketch and I will select this face and uh, let's make one circle here and uh, the dimension of the circle uh, it would be let's say 19 mm it would be 19 mm and uh, the dimension from let's say this edge to this uh, center point uh, it would be let's say 150 millimeters and uh, let's say this dimension dimension from here to here is 60 millimeters and now you can see that it is fully defined let's go to your features extruded boss and I will extrude it to uh, let's say 35 millimeters and select ok uh, let's say we need one extrusion here uh, so let's go to your sketch again select this face select the same uh, circle I will make one bigger circle let's go to your smart dimension and let's make it 40 mm so, uh, go to your features boss extrude and I will extrude it to uh, let's say 19 mm and select ok uh, so we are done with this base and uh, let's make some chamfer let's go to your uh, chamfer and I will make one chamfer of 2 select this edge select uh, let's say this edge and select ok uh, let's make one chamfer on the edges of this uh, base so let's change this to let's say 10 mm and I will select this edge and I will select let's say this edge uh, this edge and uh, this edge and this edge 
and select OK. Uh, so we are done with this base and I will save this part as base and save. Uh, lastly, uh, we will uh, design hammer. So let's go to here new and select part and click OK. Uh, I'll go to here front plane, select a sketch and uh, I will make uh, first of all a slot here and uh, I will make one slot here. I will make uh, one circle here. Uh, sorry, I will drag this. Uh, we will dimension it later. And uh, let's make uh, uh, one uh, rectangle here and uh, one rectangle maybe here. Okay, let's drag this. Sorry, Control Z. Uh, let's delete this rectangle and let's make one rectangle again, corner rectangle here to here. Okay, uh, now we'll dimension these. So first, I will select uh, this line. I will select this line, and I will select this line, and make them symmetric. Okay. Similarly, select this line, hold shift, select this line, select this line, and make them symmetric. Okay. Uh, now we will dimension these. Uh, let's say the dimension of this uh, circle is 19. Uh, sorry, uh, it could be 20 uh, because. The previous one uh, that was 19 so it would be 20 and uh, let's say this slot width is uh, 20 mm and uh, the dimension from let's say this edge to this uh, circle is 30 and the dimension from let's say this point to this edge uh, it could be let's say 70 and uh, select this line select this line and make them uh, collinear okay uh, also uh, this one is 150 millimeters and this one is let's say 90 millimeters okay let's drag this to here uh, now uh, let's say the dimension from uh, this to this is 450 and uh, the length of the slot uh, from this center to this center it would be 250 millimeters and uh, the width of this is let's say 35 millimeters uh, now you can see that still it is under defined and uh, I will select this one, I will select this one and make them horizontal. Now you can see that it is fully defined. Uh, we will extrude it in two portions because this width is different from this width. So I will exit this sketch, I will go to here extrude and I will extrude, uh, first I will extrude this portion and I will extrude it from the mid plane and uh, this extrusion would be 15 mm, so I will change it to 15 from 10 and select OK. Similarly, uh, I will go to here uh, extrude again. Now you can see that a sketch is hidden, so I will go to here uh, design tree. I will go to here sketch and this time I will select this portion. Uh, I will go to here mid plane extrusion and I will change this to 50. As I said, this extrusion is different from this extrusion. I will select 50. And I will select units to mm and select OK. Now you can see that uh, uh, it uh, looks like a hammer. So uh, we'll uh, use fillet feature uh, to smooth the edges. First, I will uh, use uh, fillet feature here, and this would be let's say round fillet. So first, I will select this face, then I will select uh, let's say this face and uh, I will select this face and select OK. Now you can see a full round fillet. Uh, now uh, we will fill it uh, to these edges to make it smooth. Uh, let's select this fillet, constant size fillet and uh, this would be a 10 mm radius fillet. Uh, select this edge, uh, select let's say this edge, I will select this edge, this edge 
and uh, maybe this edge this one this one and this one i think all are selected uh, not these and select okay uh, now you can see uh, the head of this hammer is smooth okay uh, let's go to your fillet again and this time i will use so let's say 5 mm fillet so i will change it to 5 from 10 and i will select let's say this face and select okay uh, also we need to uh, fill it on these edges as well so i will select this one and uh, similarly i will select this one and select okay uh, lastly let's say we need some fillet on these edges as well uh, it is up to you let's make uh, one mm fillet and uh, let's go to here fillet let's change it to one let's select uh, let's say this face and on the back side this face and select okay now you can see uh, hammer is done uh, you can hide these shadows if you want and you can change it to plain white okay so i will save this part as hammer and i will save it uh, now we will assemble these parts in solidworks assembly mode so let's go to here uh, make assembly from part and i will select this one and i will click, uh, select ok uh, so first of all uh, i need base part and this would be fixed I will drag this to here or uh, I will select shift select all these and select ok so all these parts are inserted in solidworks assembly mode first I will change background and uh, now you can see that uh, this part is fixed uh, by default and uh, actually we want this part to be fixed so I will not change this ok so first of all uh, I will select this face and I will select let's say this face and I will make them concentric okay I will drag this to maybe here and uh, okay let's drag this hammer to somewhere here. Uh, now uh, I will make one distance made here so let's select this face and let's select this face and uh, uh, I'll go to here make and uh, let's select this uh, option distance and uh, i will change this distance to let's say 5 mm and you can see from top view uh, let's go to the top view and now you can see that this distance is 5 mm let's change it to maybe 10 so you can visualize it uh, it is 10 and i will change it to 5 and select ok uh, now select this uh, this face and select let's say this face and select uh, concentrate uh, similarly I will make one distance made here as well let's go to the first top view and uh, select this face select this face and uh, I'll go to a mate and by default it is a uh, coincident mate but we don't want con uh, coincident mate here and uh, let's go to here distance and i will change this distance to let's say 20 mm okay you can see in top view uh, you can see that uh, this these will not uh, uh, collide while uh, uh, motion so 20 mm would be fine let's select okay uh, now you can see that we are almost done with mates and uh, uh, we have to match this hammer uh, with this pulley you can see that i can uh, drag this hammer and you can see that i can separately rotate this pulley and i can separately rotate this uh, hammer but we want uh, all these uh, hammer and pulley uh, to be sync so let's go to here mate and this time i will be using slot mate here uh, i will search for mechanical mates and under mechanical mates you will find this option slot so let's first select this slot 
and then I will select this one and now you can see that uh, these two are mated select ok and uh, now I think it should perform the desired motion so I will drag this and now you can see that this drop hammer animation is working uh, very fine uh, so uh, let's go to here appearance uh, I'll go to a color and I will select let's say this one and I will uh, apply let's say black appearance to this uh, so similarly I will select uh, let's say hammer I'll go to a color and I will change this appearance to let's say red and select ok similarly last one is pulley so select pulley I'll go to a color and uh, I will select this appearance and select ok so let's go to here motion study and uh, let's select uh, motor uh, so let's go to here motor and i will select rotary motor here and uh, for the direction is this one and uh, the motion rpm would be 10 and select ok uh, now I will drag this to 12 seconds and uh, I'll go to here settings and I will change these frames per second to maybe 20 and select ok. Uh, now I will calculate this motion study, select calculate and now you can see that this uh, hammer drop animation is working and uh, uh, you can increase the uh, RPM or you can reduce this one. Uh, let's stop it here. Uh, so, uh, uh, lastly, uh, we will export this motion study to Keyshot for some uh, rendering. So, let's go to here tools and uh, uh, first I will need a add-in. So, let's go to here add-in and uh, I'll go to here Keyshot plugin, select this one and select OK. Uh, let's go to here uh, tools go to your keyshot and select this option send to keyshot i am using keyshot 9 uh, basically you have to sync this uh, keyshot with solidworks uh, first i will select uh, this option yes and uh, this motion study will be transported or will be exported to a keyshot directly so select yes just cancel this one Uh, and now you can see your motion study okay just cancel this one first i will adjust this uh, so now you can see that this animation is transported to keyshot so let's go to your animation and uh, i will reduce this fps to maybe 12 and i will select this option play now you can see that this animation is directly transported from solidworks to keyshot so i will pause it uh, uh, pause here i will cancel this one i will cancel this one first i will apply uh, material uh, let's go to your library and uh, i will search uh, material so let's search it uh, paint and uh, i think this one for hammer so i will drag and drop and this one for uh, pulley and uh, for the uh, base i will let's say search for hard shiny plastic and i will drag and drop this one to here so materials are, are applied and uh, i will change this and uh, first i will uh, hide this ground shadows and i will select this uh, option color uh, white color and now i can uh, uh, render this uh, animation in key shot so let's change this perspective to maybe somewhere around 114 or maybe 111 and uh, just right click and uh, move model and uh, I will select snap to ground select ok and select center and fit models ok uh, let's go to your render and uh, you can change your uh, uh, resolution size here 
let's say I need one uh, I need 1280 by 720 so I will select this one uh, this lock uh, this aspect ratio is locked so first you have to uh, unlock these and now uh, I'll go to here image and I will change this resolution option to one uh, 1280 by 720 let's go to here render and uh, you can change these options let's say samples are 256 which are very high and let's change it to maybe uh, 64 and it uh, basically it all depends on your uh, hardware and if you have a, a powerful system so you can use maybe 256 uh, let's go to your output and uh, I will change this to 300 10,000 are very high we'll change it to 300 and now you can see that this aspect ratio is changed uh, you can rename this rendering so let's change it to hammer drop animation uh, you have to change this uh, rendering from still image to animation otherwise only this preview will be rendered so let's change it to animation and uh, video output and frame the output and select render and now your animation will be rendered you can see animations frame here and uh, you can see your samples here so that's it for uh, today's tutorial uh, i hope you have learned something new uh, i hope you like it and uh, if you have any questions any queries uh, related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects Thank you.